Walk me through what you're expecting in this Washington Atlantis series because it does appear um, that, uh, well, the winner of this may just take on Boston when it's all finally said and done. What do you have for me uh, on this? Yeah, Ryan? Atlanta's been so unpredictable throughout the season. They got off to a terrific start. They were 9-2. and two. Then the struggles hit. They went 1-10. and 10. Then they went 22-11. and 11. And they finished the season 11 and 16. So you have no real clear idea which team you're going to get. I thought they actually played fairly well in the first two games. Washington was so potent offensively. John Wall was at a different level, a one-man highlight machine. And Atlanta just didn't have enough answers. But game three, they came out with so much intensity. The effort was so high. And before you looked up, Atlanta was – up 19 to 4, 38 to 20 after one. They never looked back. They they let it from end to end, and I think it did plant a, a seed of doubt in Washington's minds. If they thought, hey, we could sweep these guys, they're right there for the taking, and now we might have a series. If Atlanta backs it up, I would be shocked if Washington gets blown out again. I think this is going to be a really competitive game four. Wall needs some help. He's been great in every game. Bradley Beal has not. Markeith Morris has been hit or miss. The bench has been non-existent for Washington. Brandon Jennings has played fairly well, but not enough. Boyan Bogdanovich, who they traded uh, for a first-round pick with Brooklyn, has not brought the goods yet, and they need him to shoot the ball a whole lot better for this team to do the kind of things that they expected once these playoffs began. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.